Welcome to Elliot's PT Podcast. I'm here to help you find your balance and live your best life guilt-free. I don't believe there is a one-size-fits-all approach for health and fitness. We're all different and we need to find out what works for us. I'm passionate about helping people make realistic, long-term lifestyle changes that they will stick to and they will take with them forever. I don't believe in crazy diets or short-term fixes. We all need to live and find a perfect balance in diet and exercise that suits our individual needs. I want to help you find your exercise mojo, feel great and achieve wonderful things. Here is Elliot's PT Podcast by Renee Elliott. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Elliot's PT Podcast. So today I wanted to talk about why would you hire a personal trainer or why would you look at going to a personal trainer? So obviously I'm a personal trainer and I have a personal trainer myself. And yes, I do. I have one myself. I um, make sure that I have somebody that is just checking over me and making sure that I'm doing things right and also just to give me that little push. But I just wanted to talk about why it would why it's a good idea to make sure that you do have a trainer. So when you've got somebody to guide you through your correct positioning and form, that can be totally invaluable. And if you are looking to take your fitness to the next level, um, definitely getting a PT is the right thing to do. So your personal trainer, they'll, they will increase your accountability. Sometimes people can struggle just to actually get their routine started or to get their workout started. But if you have a PT uh, that you've, or a, you know, like a group that you've signed up to, so you've got them waiting for you, it's really going to help with your consistency and accountability. And um, if somebody is standing there waiting for you, uh, you are more likely to go there than to skip the session. Now, the group sessions that I run, they have, everybody has to book in. So you have to book in online. And also, I generally know people's routines. So if somebody misses a session, but I don't see somebody in a few days, I'm going to be texting them or ringing them just to be checking in on them to see where they are, if everything's okay. And so when you've got, when you've you're joining a group or you've got a PT, you've got somebody looking out for you. And I really feel it's important because as mums, we tend to, we are the ones that are looking, there's somebody needs to look after you. We are the ones that are looking after our, uh, we tend to be looking after, you know, our partners, our children, our animals, you know, you're the one that's like, got looking after everything else and who's the person that's looking out for you. Well, sometimes your PT, um, that's how I see my role. I'm the one that's going to help keep you accountable and help keep you doing things that are going to be good for you. The thing that I always find it's something I'm really passionate about is that when we are pregnant, we are, you know, the care is coming for the mum because you're carrying the baby and all of those things. And then you have your baby and um, then the care gets gets transferred from the from the mum to the baby. But then no one else goes back. Not many people go back to look at the mum. And then your mum, you're thrown into motherhood. And then on top of all of that, you're looking out for, you know, you're looking out. You've got a new baby as well that you want to make sure you're doing everything right for. So you've got all of that onto you, but there's nobody there looking after you. And I really something that I feel is, um, you know, lacking in the system. And I feel that, you know, that mums just get pushed aside and they forget about themselves and they forget about themselves. And, you know, I just had a mum the other day that was um, doing classes and her kids were grown up and her kids were, you know, in their mid twenties. And she said, it's time for me to look after me now, you know, and so for, for those, she'd had three children and they were close in age and for those, you know, 25 odd years that she just didn't look after herself, that she put her care into her children. And, you know, you can have the balance of caring for your children and yourself. And um, it doesn't mean you're guilty when you're doing those things. It means that you actually are. You're showing your children how to do that too. And you're showing them how to care for themselves. And when you put yourself first, you're, you're happier you know, my belief is you're happier. You know, you, um, I know with myself personally, I'm a better mum when I am making sure that I'm doing things that are good for me. So, um, 
that's that's why I think it's really important to have somebody in your team looking out for you. And it can be somebody else, but you know, you can have a trainer that um you know that is that person for you. If you are going to a PT, they're going to give you a nudge if you need that extra nudge um, to get your workout done to maybe work that little bit harder. You might pe- I know people say that, that and I know myself, I was doing a class not that long ago and I think we did a podcast about it and um, I was so would have stopped but because I was in the class, I knew I couldn't. So I, um, so I kept going but if I was working out on my own, I definitely probably, probably would have stopped and wouldn't have completed it and I totally could have completed it. It was just getting challenging. There has been some studies that over, oh, there was a study that went over 11 years and it showed that people that stuck to their weight loss, they, people that stuck to their weight loss routines, they found the more accountability they had, they were more likely to, to stick to their weight loss program and get better results. So, and this was a different study over 11 years. So it is showing by having somebody on your side, they, you know, they will definitely be making sure that you are getting the results that you want to get. Uh, they're going to keep you accountable and um, keep you on track. It is easy to start something and be really excited at the start. And, you know, then then the excitement isn't still there. And sometimes that excitement isn't the thing that can keep you going the whole time. So it does start to waver. But having your PT, your personal trainer there to make sure that they are, that you are staying on track can get you over that hump. And really with everything, consistency is the key. You have to find something that you enjoy and it has to be something that, yeah, that, something that you can enjoy and we just have to keep doing it. And there are times that you can't be bothered. There are times that, you know, you probably feel tired, you know, but I guarantee you that you just get up and do it and you will always feel better for it after. Yesterday morning, we had a class and there, a couple of the girls were like, oh, I had a really bad night's sleep. I was feeling terrible. And, um, and I was like, well, you're here now. You know, that's great. We're here now. You're going to always feel better for it. And then when we finished the class, they said, I'm so glad I got up. I feel so much better. So that's what I want you to always think about because that's, that's what motivates me. I lay in bed and think, oh, I've had a rough night's sleep. I prefer to go back to sleep. And I'm like, no, just get up get your workout done, you'll feel so much better for it. And so trust me, just, and the PT is the person that can help you be accountable for that. I've got some pointers here. So another pointer is that why, when you've got your PT, they're going to help you learn about health and fitness in your body. Your PT, your, that they've obviously got, they've had to get qualifications to um, become a personal trainer. And then that once you become a personal trainer, there is ongoing qualifications that you need to do to keep your points up, to keep your, to keep you active in the fitness industry. So you are, you're getting somebody that's got that knowledge. So somebody that may have been in the industry for a long time, they've got all that experience that they can bring to you. They can bring all that experience of the years that, that they have had. So let's say I had, um, a while ago, I had a new mum come. She had just had a baby. She came to me and, you know, I started showing her the things that she needed to do. And she was, had been doing her workouts at home. And, you know, there are a few things that you shouldn't shouldn't be doing when you've just had your baby because it, we need to take time for your body to heal. And she uh, was like, oh, my God, I've been doing everything wrong <laughs> because she'd got – she'd. And I totally understand it because I felt exactly the same way. She wanted to be like she was before she had her baby. So she was trying to do those same workouts and you just can't do them. You need to really build your strength up properly. And that's where she was at. I was so grateful that she came here because I could guide her in the right right way. Where she was at home trying to do all these workouts that would actually, you know, like they would hurt her because she was trying, she was trying to jump, she was trying to do things that her body wasn't wasn't ready for yet. But obviously she just wanted to get back to how she was going. So having somebody, when she was good that she came to me because I could guide her and show her and she can do those exercises. She can do all those exercises now, but we needed to do some other things first. So that's why you need somebody that's got that knowledge. And obviously somebody that's a personal trainer, they are, that is, that's their job. So, you know, so for me, I live, eat, breathe it. I'm always reading stuff. I'm always researching. I'm always doing all of that stuff. So it's, it's my number one kind of priority. 
So, you know, it doesn't have to be yours, but you can go to someone and they can guide you in those things because it is something that they have spent their career on. It's something they're focused on. Um, also having your PT, having somebody there, they're going to help you looking at your exercise to make sure your technique is on point. So you don't injure yourself. Uh, you've got, you know, there can be little tweaks that you can make. Like you do not have to work harder. You do not have to work, um, and totally smash yourself to get a good result. You know, you just need to be smarter about your workouts. So there can be, so having somebody checking with you that, you know, you've got, my, you've got half an hour. Let's say you've got a half an hour window and you want to get the most that you can in that workout in that half an hour. I, I don't want to be wasting any time. I want to make sure that I can kind of get, get my workout done and it, it be the best full body workout in the shortest amount of time. And, um, you know, people come to me and they'll say, there's a, someone else that does the class in the morning. She, comes to my classes in the parks, but she also um, goes to a, a session on the the beach. And she said she can always tell the difference between, you know, somebody that's qualified and somebody that's not because the because of how the planning is in your workout and how, you know, like obviously we understand how to plan out your workouts so that they are the most effective workout that you're going to get in the time that we're doing it. And um, that is why you would go to somebody that has those qualifications because that is their specialty. Another benefit of having a trainer is they can help you with goal setting. So I think goal setting is really important. I am always personally setting goals for myself, letting, setting things to work towards. The, the PT, they can help you, you know, like they can go through because that, that is a big part of what we do as well is helping you make sure that you get to where you want to get to and having them guide you through your goals or to keep you on track with them, but also to look at your goals and be like, okay, uh, we've set this goal and you might've set a goal, let's say to do a hundred pull-ups and you can't do one pull-up. So we need to, we need to tweak it to make it more realistic, you know, and then we can then show you the pathway of what you would need to be doing to to work towards that goal. So I had somebody uh, again that had we were had set goals and they their goal was set to do box jumps. Sorry, it was box jumps. We don't have a facility to do box jumps here, and I knew she wasn't doing them at home. So that that goal was not she she wasn't she wasn't working towards it. It was unrealistic, and uh, obviously she didn't achieve it because she didn't stick to try it. So that's what I'm saying. You need to make sure that you, the goals that you have is something that you that you can stick to and you need to be trained towards it. I've had lots of people give pull-up goals, but then they don't go and practice the movements that you need to do to get to a pull-up. You, it's having somebody there on your side to help guide you to make sure that you get to where you want to be and can keep you motivated, you know, like, because again, we can feel really excited when you just start saying something, but that excitement that you have first off isn't going to generally carry you through the whole time of you working towards your goal. So you need somebody on your team to help get you there. Okay. Another pointer of why it is good to have a trainer is that your plan will be individualized. And this is something that I'm really passionate about. It's really easy to do. You could be following workouts on free workouts on YouTube or other apps or anything like that, but they don't know a thing about you. They don't know your injuries. They don't know... Um, you know, your circumstances, what you've done previously. They don't know they any of those things. So you need to have a plan tailored to suit you. And that is why sometimes people give up because they think there is there is an app that's going around on social media at the moment. And the workouts, it's, you know, the workouts that I can see flashing up on, on the advertisement of it is way too hard. And they're, they're saying that it's for beginners. Now, I would struggle to do those things. But if you get it and then you start doing it, then you can't do it right. And you think that you've failed and it's not your fault that the, those workouts aren't tailored to you. And it's really important to have somebody there guiding you in that way. And all of my group classes, that's what we do. We we make a group, lots of people call my group classes PT sessions because they're smaller groups and they are personal. 
they're personal and we everybody has a quirk everybody has a little quirk or something that they can or can't do so that so i can't just write out a program and just pl- or plan a session and just be like here's a session let's go because everybody needs to have because they might have a shoulder injury they might have a knee injury they might have um they might have you know s- tweaked their back you know so then they might have a sore back so you know so everybody needs they need to have it tailored to them. So it might be like, well, you've got a uh, somebody had hurt their calf last week, so that so we had to give their calf calf a rest. But that didn't mean that they had to sit out from the classes and they couldn't do them that week. It just meant that we changed her exercises, so that gave her so it just continued to rest her calf, but she could still do her upper body. You know, somebody else in the class has had a shoulder injury, so that meant that really anything over her head was just going to irritate her shoulder. So again, we tailored, you know, tailored the session. I had years ago, I had a lady that had hurt her knee. She'd injured her knee and she'd injured her shoulder. So for about, and I always think it's good when you're kind of forced to focus on one part of your body. So we were forced to just mostly focus on abs. So we had to do that and and she ended up having abs of steel. Because for six months, that's just what we focused on. And it, well, it benefited her massively. And that's why you can just focus on one. You know, you can, if you have an injury, it doesn't mean that everything's over. If you go to somebody that's qualified and understands what they're doing, they can work around that injury. So you don't have to stop training. You can do the things that you can do within your limitations, but you can still, you can still always work out. And, you know, like this lady, yeah, we focused on just just her abs during that time that, um, you know, she had hurt her knee and her shoulder. And, yeah, it was it was good. So I always think that, um, that and, you know, you just need to have somebody that is uh, going to give you an ind- uh, individualised plan that suits you and where you're at. And that is what a trainer, a personal trainer, is qualified to do. And it's easy to follow those workouts online, but they don't know a thing about you. They don't know where you've been, you know, and you think, you know, like, let's use the example of a new mum. You think, well, I used to be able to do these workouts. I used to be able to run and sprint and I could jump. So why can't I just start doing those things again? But you've just had a baby. So your, um, your body is still repairing. Your pelvic floor has, you know, had a lot of pressure under it and you've um you need to repair those things and the person on the person on an online video doesn't take into account any of those things and you know then even people think even though their babies might be older you know they still might have some things that aren't firing properly but again a trainer will check all of those things for you so that's why you it's really good to make sure you've got somebody that can see you i have classes that are in person and online but i can still the online people i can still see everything that they're doing so i know if their forms off i know if um you know i can tailor things obviously if they have an injury and so that's why you want somebody that's going to give you that more personal touch a another thing is the great thing about having a PT is their schedule can be flexible. So you can obviously suit things in to suit, put sessions in to suit you and your what your life is doing. So, you know, there's some people that come to me in the afternoon straight after they finish work. There's other people that I have, you know, like a variety of classes from morning, mid-morning to the afternoon. So then you can kind of choose which one suits you. But, you know, you need to, uh, it's good to be able to go somewhere that the schedule is flexible because you want to be able to choose what works and what suits for you. And in the end, we want to be consistent. So we want to do something that we can stick to consistently. And that is how you're going to be able to get the results that you want to get. So having a flexible schedule is definitely going to help with that. A big thing that I'm really passionate about is exercise variety. So having a PT, they're going to help you have a variety, make sure that you're getting in a variety of exercises. It's um, If you do the same thing over and over and over, it can get really boring and you're then again more likely to give up. But like, again, my classes are planned out. So they're planned out and they're planned to suit you. So we can work the same muscle group in different ways 
add in a few um, little other things to make it more interesting so then you don't get bored. And again, this is their job. So this is the trainer's job to do that planning and to make sure that you stay entertained, you know, or that you stay excited about your exercise. And that is always my goal. It's always my goal to make my sessions fun, to make them, um, to make them different. That's people say, there's never, ever, we never, ever do the same thing. And we don't, we tweak it, you know, we change it around. We always mix it up. So your, your keep keeping guessing and so is your body. If we do the same thing over and over, so let's say if I lift five kilos um, for for the rest of my life, my body will get used to that. So I may get results when I just start, but then towards um, after a while, my body will adapt to lifting that five kilos and it will no longer be challenging for me. So if I did the same thing over and over and over again, it would never harm me, but I wouldn't be still... Um, achieving things or working towards getting a change because my body would be used to that. So that's why you do want variety. But again, you want somebody that knows you, that can see you and tailor all of these things to suit you and where you're at. Some people can progress with things really quickly where other people need to take a bit longer, but it's all individualized to suit you. As part of your qualifications and other trainers do more qualifications after like what I have, um, they can also offer you some nutritional advice. But again, I would just be checking whether what their qualifications are to, to give you this advice. But again, um, you know, you see a trainer for a few hours, you know, a week maybe, but you know, there is things that, that you need to do outside of your training session that will really help you and they can offer you that nutritional advice. And lots of people say it can be, but again, make sure you check on what their qualifications are. But you know, there are that they can sometimes be somebody that sees you more regularly that can really help guide you with your food because again, it is something that they're qualified in. Again, depending on the person, so you would need to check that. The thing on a side point, the thing that really shocks me is that not many people ask for what your qualifications are. I have heard of stories of trainers that are giving exercise classes or exercise programs and stuff, and I have no fitness qualification. So, you know, nobody, hardly anybody, I mine qualifications are on my website and um, I proudly show them. They are working without qualifications, uh, but nobody checks. And also nobody checks if you're insured. So that's something that I would always be thinking of. What is, if you're going to a different trainer, I would be a new trainer, I would be thinking uh, just to checking those things because what happens if something happened to you and they weren't insured and they weren't insured and you get injured and then where they, and you've got no leg to stand on. So, so think, think about those things and check the qualifications. Is this person give me, giving me uh, this advice and they actually don't have the qualification to give it? You know, there is things that you can do nutritionally that can help your workouts enhance to help you get the results that you're looking for. And so sometimes having somebody that's like, well, you've, you know, I've always said to people, you've worked really hard today. Make sure, you know, you prioritize your protein after you finish your workout. Um, again, I don't believe in supplements and all of those things. And I know some traders may sell those things, but I just feel like they are just a marketing ploy to to get you to buy things. So I don't like those things, but I think it's important. It, they can also help you with that little bit of nutrition advice and even perks, even tweaks that you can make. Oh, instead of buying this brand, maybe look at this brand of yogurt or something else like that. So because again, remember, they also see a lot of people. They'll know things that work for different people. Oh, this person was doing this and then they bought this and then they got results from that. So so um, you could also get nutritional advice and um, learn from that. And lastly, while having a PT and helping to keep you accountable and exercise at all time is massive for your mental health. It, there is so much research showing the positive effect of physical exercise and how it can have on your mental health and it can reduce uh, anxiety and depression and having somebody that's going to keep you accountable, somebody that's going to keep you working out can be a really, really important um, factor in, in your mental health and keeping you on track. And I see it in so many people, how much exercise benefits them. It benefits me in a massive way for my mental health, but making sure that you have somebody to keep you on track. If, if you can't be accountable yourself, 
then go to somebody, go to a group, hire a one-on-one PT, so then you can be accountable. Because lots of people say they won't do it themselves. If you are not motivated enough to do it yourself and to to be um, that little bit disciplined to make sure you are working out, then you need to be part of something. You need to be part of a group or part of somebody one-on-one so then you can stay active. There is more benefits of exercise than not doing it, but your mental health is massive. They are, um, I just had somebody this week that had been going through a rough time and their psychologist had said, you have to work out. That was like, and they were saying that the exercise was better than, this was just one person's opinion, the exercise was better than, you know, it would do just as good for you as the antidepressant. So, you know, if you combine them together, that's even better. If you can't be active yourself, if you can't be consistent yourself, then then make sure you're putting things in place to stay accountable and it will benefit you in so many ways. So obviously I am a personal trainer myself but I and I'm very passionate about what I do, but I'm passionate about people staying active and healthy and it is never too late. It is never too late to start. It is never too late to start being accountable and it can be difficult when you first start out. It's scary to start. It is um, the unknown. It's also scary because we because it's hard. It could be a little bit hard, but have somebody to guide you there and to let you know that you're doing the right thing. To let you know that you know you're actually doing better than you think, and be there to support you because the benefits of exercising for your life is massive. And so don't miss it out. And it's massive. And you want to start as soon as you can. And you want to stay active. So, you, you know, for me, I'm so passionate about moving more to age well. So then you can just have the basic strength. It's not about being a muscle woman or any of those things. It's about being able to get up and down off a chair, being able to lift your arm above your head so then you can grab an opening a jar, those things. You want to have that basic strength as you age. Now, after 30, if you're not working on your muscles, you act, if you're not actively working on your muscle, you will start to, there will be some deterioration and you will start to lose muscle. So we need to keep, maintain that while we get older. And if you, if you have any elderly grandparents or parents or any of those things, look at how they move. And that doesn't have to be your reality. You can you can create a different reality if you stay active. And um, maybe they're active and that's great. And look at them as inspiration and stay active. If you have any, you know, exercise is a massive thing for mental health, as we just said. But, you know, staying on top of your exercise is going to help keep you, you know, it makes me clearer. It, um, you know, makes me better as a mum. It's also teaching my kids good, good exercise habits. So that's also a benefit. So we all know the benefits. We all know we should be doing it in some form. But if you struggle to do it on your own, get a PT to help you. Get them to help you and keep you accountable and you will never look back. All right, if this has helped you today, uh, please let me know. I would love to hear and make sure if you know somebody else that it would help, please share it onto them so they can look for a PT themselves and obviously stay active and um, start moving more. And if you're on the sunny coast and you're near me, then obviously you can come and join my group classes. Or if you want to do it virtually, you can do it from wherever. You just um, you will just you just do it online. But I can still see what you're doing. Okay, I will speak to you all soon. Thanks for listening to the Elliot's PT podcast. I hope you have been able to find this information of use to you. If you know someone who might be enjoy this podcast, please share it with them. And ensure that you subscribe so you can be the first to know when new podcasts are released. If you have the time to leave a five-star review, that would be amazing and it would be greatly appreciated. If you do so, please screenshot and share onto any of our socials and tag us. Then email the screenshot to hello at elliotspt.com and we will send you a free gift to your inbox. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day. Speak soon.